Hi guys, Dave's here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this week it was hot and everything, so I didn't make the, a project in the shop. Um, but I did uh, make these last year before I started my YouTube channel, so I thought I'd show those to you. But before I start that, I, I, I want to thank the instructors. I've been entering some of my uh, projects up there and everything, and I got entered in this raffle. One this neat little t-shirt here, and one this little GoPro camera. I want to thank them for that. Uh, now get, let's get back to these right here. Uh, I made these two benches out of some bunk beds that uh, me and my sister grew up with. Uh, I'm 53 years old, and last year I found these up at my grandfather's place. My dad had kept them, and so I decided to make something out of them, I made these two little bitches. But let me show you what I've done to them. Okay, the first bench I made was the little brown one here, and I cut it down. And if you notice, the, it and the green one, there's a little bit difference in the width of it. So uh, you know, changed my mind a little bit after I done the first one. You can always learn by the first of anything. Uh, the first one I had some long boards, old pallet boards, and uh, if you see here. I just screwed those down to the top and everything and let me turn it over if you can see here I screw the styles in here okay this is underneath here if you can see I've got pocket screws holding the it right there and then just screws screwed into the sides both sides and this is this is basically it on it okay the green one I decided to do it different uh, you see I've got the slats going instead of side to side I've got them front to back and I've got several on here and I didn't use pallet wood on this. I had some old poplar boards laying around, ripped them down and everything, and measured them out to make them centered up, have a little gap in between. Uh, let me show you underneath here. Okay, as you see underneath here, I've done this one different. I put uh, pocket screws in, and I put a style in between here to handle more weight. And I put pocket screws two in each of the wood slats and everything and I mean, I've done this all the way around so I mean I got several screws holding it on but I made this one a little bit sturdier I'm not a little guy so I need something to hold me up but remember these these was bunk beds and everything so I mean I wish I had videoed these when, uh, when I was building them, but I didn't think about it at the time. I do have some pictures, a few pictures and everything, so I'll, I'll post those with this. But uh, it's pretty easy to make. Okay, here it is from the side. I got it standing up here so I can show you. Basically what you do is you cut your footboard in half or is, you know, as much of it as you can and then uh, what I've done I've got pocket screws in here holding this to this right here you can't tell it because I've got on uh, I put bondo over it and painted it over and everything but that's basically how do you fasten it to your headboard <laughs> 